and welcome to the sixth part of the Node Editor tutorial series. And my name is Pavel Krupala from BlenderFig.com and this is the final result of this part. We are going uh, to adjust our nodes so we can put any content inside here. As you can see we got a label, we got a text area, it actually works. We will briefly uh, have a look how to add QSS styles to control the look and feel of the content inside and we will make it work so uh, you can put any layout here, any widgets and all the rest of the functionality of the QT will remain untacked. So I hope you are excited too and let's start coding. So let's continue where we left off and uh, first thing uh, I do want to get rid of this title here because it's not necessary. We already have this information in our node. So we can type self.node equals to no self.node.title like this. And we don't know the node yet because we haven't passed the reference for it. So self node equals node. Like this. And this should be working. When I press play, no it doesn't. And the reason why is because the parent is wrong, because we call it wrong from the constructor. So the self title will not be here anymore. Yes. When I press play, you can see we got our title. Okay. And what we actually want to do now is we want to set some content for, for the node itself. So let's say we will create, we will pass content variable here and the content will be new widget. So let's say we call it Q DM because it's ours, uh, node widget. Let's say it like this, for example, and create this node widget or maybe node content widget like this okay create new file node content and call it widget like this so the class will extend from q widget we will have again a constructor and the parent will be none by default we will call parent class in it and we will pass parent in so from pi qt5 dot qt widgets import everything that works so let's say self init ui and define init UI function and here we will create layout it will be vertical box and we will set the layout no set content margins 0 0 0 because we don't we don't want to have any border there and we can say self set layout self layout like this and now what we can do we can create a label so let's type self widget title label this will be a Q label and some title like uh, some title <laughs> let's say okay self layout at widget self widget label self layout at widget and let's set for example q text edit and type foo inside or whatever else okay so basically this is a widget which will have uh, which will be extended to all the corners 
and there will be a label and a text edit. You can put anything inside what you want. Inside the note uh, we do need from node content widget import qdm node content widget like this. So we will create a content and we will pass it to the graphical node as the content itself. So let's say that the node has self content so we can reference it later. Probably we'll go to the graphics node in case you wonder how I get there. It's just holding control and clicking on it. So here will be the node. Then we are passing the content like this. And inside here we will say node equals node self content Actually, we don't need to do this and we don't need to pass it because we will have node.content here in the node we will have the content so we can say that self content equals self node content like this. And this way our constructor is much easier again that's uh, all the time good thing to have and to do we can uh, init ui we actually are initing it here okay after we init the title we should probably init sockets and we should init the content so init title sockets and content I will leave sockets for now so self init con content like this And here is init UI, init title. So let's take this title logic above. Okay, like this. The bounding rectangle I am going to fiddle with around maybe later. But for now, we got uh, init UI, init title and we need init content and inside here what we are going to do this is quite simple we can say that self graphical content will be a new q graphics widget proxy widget and the parent will be this node graphic graphic item so let's type self there we can say self content set geometry and we can say it will start um, with self edge size and the uh, y coordinate will be self title height plus self edge size the width will be self width minus two time self edge size and the same thing will go for the height so this will be self dot height minus two times self edge size and because it's the height we also need to subtract the title height like this so this way we are setting the geometry for the qt widget and now let's say self gr content dot set widget 
and the widget will be self.content and now when I press play I get an error why is that? because we don't know set widget ok now I press play and you can see we got some title and here is our text area and we got nice corner here which is 10 pixels which is the edge size but I don't like this title to be so ugly with the default background I just want to be transparent so probably the good way how to handle this uh, would be by just uh, somehow style this so let's say we can use QSS styles for this and the way we are going to load a style is quite simple too we will go here to the to the window but basically after starting an application you can just load up a QSS file containing the styling for the for the whole editor which you will use so I will define a style sheet file name and I will say this will be in subfolder QSS and let's say node style dot QSS like this so let's create a new folder QSS and let's create a new file which will be node style dot QSS and it will be text ok at this and here we can start typing our our style uh, but first let's go to the window we got the style file name here the thing we are going to do is we can say self load style sheet and we will pass the style sheet name so style sheet file name like this I will go down and define new function load style sheet and file name and here we can do we can uh, print style loading and file name so when I start play you can see we are loading uh, style QSS node style QSS that's awesome we can say file equals to Q file and type file name with file open in uh, Q file mode uh, read only and we can say that the Q file will be text like this so we open the file we can say style sheet equals to file read all so we read all the content and then we can say Q application dot instance set style sheet and it expects string so we will convert this from UTF-8 so we can type st str style sheet and we can say encoding equals to UTF-8 like this and we should be able to load our style so what we can do we can type Q label and set the color for example to be uh, let's try it if it works yeah it works as you can see we got red background or red color of the text of the Q label and what we can do now we can type thing, for example the background will be transparent 
let's try that and it doesn't work why it doesn't work because probably the widget itself is transparent so let's type q widget and put it put the background to be transparent and when i press play you can see the label disappeared and the text area got transparent background too which i don't like too much what we can do now we can use something like this this is qdm node content widget and we can go ahead and say that qdm node content widget will have transparent background and as you can see this applies only to the widget inside here so the la label by default has already transparent background but the widget we used here inside in the class qdm content widget whatever label is already transparent so do not override all the q labels everywhere just override this one and let's try another color for example e0 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 like this and as you can see now we got title label here is our text area and it works so thank you for watching and see you at the next part